The king mackerel bite this week remains extremely consistent throughout the entire day. Typically, it's that early morning and late afternoon push. It seemed like the fish were just there all day long and their little schools coming through. Also, bonita are absolutely everywhere. And to catch a bonita, you just simply need a live bait hook and something live and wiggly. And you don't need a leader on this. Just tie it right to your line, your 15, 20 pound Andy, whatever you're using. Lob it out there and just hang on as they pull. Great. They're called little baby tuna, little toonie, whatever you want to call them. Also, flat line and cigar minnows for your king mackerel have been producing the most hits. You do that with a stinger rig. It's probably the easiest way for novices to get into it. You have your two hooks set up so you don't get cut off near as much. Or what the locals use is just your um, number two or number four. Number two's been hard to come by. Um, treble hook. You need to make sure it's a four strong treble hook. We have plenty of them in the store here. This so Andrew's Bay fishing has stayed about the same as it has the last few weeks and it's going to continue to stay the same until we get a major weather change. Your speckled trout in that four to six foot of water and your redfish up there in that six to eight inches of water. On that higher side, them redfish are going to be right in the, your sawgrass on the side. So throw your baits as close to that sawgrass as you can get and pull them fish back off. Cheryl Little from Panhandle Outdoors has been fishing out of her Hobie Mirage Pro Angler, throwing the gold five inch magnum with Joe's Curly Fry. Been catching a lot of quality speckled trout. We also got um, trout trailer baits in. Um, these are made right here in Panama City, Florida. Um, we have several colors to choose from. They're all shrimp scented. Um, we brought these in because we had local people requesting them. So come in. Dennis Boggs is the manufacturer. I'm coming to give them a try. Kayak fishing this last week has remained much like it has the last few. East Bay has been very hot for redfish and trout. And West Bay up around the shrimp farm on that outgoing tide seems to be catching the most redfish. And then your trout are in that four to six foot of water. Don't forget this Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. We're going to have the Callahan brothers from Tallahassee who are owners of Cast the Flat Seminars. We're going to be over here with a kayak fishing, rigging, and fishing seminar. We're going to have local angler Linda Cabot, which is Team Sunjammer, soon to be Team Hobie. Hint, hint, Hobie that she's going to be in here talking about offshore fishing, snapper and bottom fishing, and trolling for king mackerel. Then we're going to have local guide, Captain Daniel Snap, the Grassy Flats Charters, talking about how he uses the, all the inshore baits to target redfish and trout in the tournaments, and some of his secret spots that you can access by kayaks. Don't forget, Cast the Flats free kayak fishing seminar this Saturday from 2 to 4, Sunjammers Water Sports. For you freshwater guys out there, we now have your Booyah spinner baits, and also our earthworms are absolutely so large, people are cutting them in half. Um, they're just absolutely huge earthworms this week. Um, these come out of Blunt Sound, which come out of the Apalachicola River, one of the few places in the world to get um, earthworms this big. Um, brim hooks um, is all you need for these. Put these larger earthworms on the bottom of those brim, just absolutely eat them alive. Our deal of the week, if you're looking for a good Sabiki rod or really a freshwater rod, we have U-Pro's Diamond Series IM8 Closeout Rods paired up with a Daiwa Reel. Retail value on this is around $75. We're selling it in the store for $50. If you mention you saw it on this fishing report, it's only $30.